Hi guys, I thought I would do my first get ready with me video seeing as that's what all the cool kids on YouTube do. I'm um, going to a Chaldean wedding tonight so I'm pretty excited about that because I'm going to do some crazy makeup, some makeup that I would never usually get to do, going to just a regular kind of wedding. So, I'm just using a little bit of the Illamasqua, um, what is that, Hydra Veil, as like a primer first, love this stuff, it's super good if you want super dewy, because some primers, I don't know, if I'm a little bit dry, they really dry me out. I'm going to use a little bit of my fancy new Charlotte Tilbury concealer underneath the eyes but probably gonna end up wiping that off because I'm gonna use a lot of black and there's gonna be a lot of fallout so I'm gonna do my eyes first pretty much always do my eyes first I don't want to have to spend all of my time cleaning up fallout ain't nobody got time for that so I'm just gonna use a little concealer brush just to pat that in around the eyes. I've been thinking about this for so long what I'm actually gonna what I'm gonna wear makeup wise tonight because I was just super excited to go to an Arabic wedding because they love makeup. You can never shame anyone for wearing too much makeup. I did quite a few of the guests makeup today at the salon. Lots of eyeliner, lots of lashes. I love it. Some Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I like this stuff. So I've been trying different primers for a little bit now, and this one so far has been my favorite. It's nice and clear and see through, just like the Urban Decay one. But I feel like the Urban Decay one like moves my stuff around when I actually put it on. I'm gonna use a lot of Makeup Geek tonight. Stop it, Beanie. So I'm gonna start off. I don't exactly know where I'm going with this look. All I know is it's going to be dramatic. And I also probably am going to end up using the Sugar Pill Goldilocks pigment. Because I never really get a chance to use that. So I'm starting off with my base. Or my crease colour. I'm just going to use Makeup Geek's Bitten. Just in the crease. Like so. I um I was originally gonna wear a navy dress and last minute I changed my mind and now I'm wearing like a black long floor length dress that has like a kind of like a blush colored bust and originally I was wearing a navy mid-length dress that had like kind of gold beading on top of it. I actually had bought it to wear to the movie premiere but the two-day shipping didn't come in two days so I was going to wear it to the wedding but I've changed my mind and there's no going back from here because I can't really wear a plummy eye with a navy and gold dress. The navy and gold dress sounds heinous but I swear it's super vintagey looking. So I'm just using a big fluffy brush with just a touch of bitten on it just to like blend out underneath the eye. I'm actually really happy that I'm wearing the other dress because this is going to be so much more of a, a me kind of eye. This brush, oh, I die for. Of course the name of it's come off. I got it from the crown, br crown brush place, what do you call it, booth at the makeup show last year. I'm going to use 
Grandstand Foiled Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. Right in the center there. Oh, that's pretty. I love this. So pretty. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll zoom this in a little bit so you guys can see. A little more of the eyeball action. This is like the perfect color because this is like a rose gold kind of metallic foil which is pretty much the color of my dress. It's not foil but it's a blushy kind of rose color. The lace underlay. Um, so I'm using a flat shading brush. This is a really old Napoleon brush. Flat shading brush and patting that on. Always want to pat when you're using these shiny shadows and you want something to be super strong on the lid. Just pat, pat, pat. I love these foiled shadows. They give you a really kind of wet look. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to use in the spotlight. Kind of on this inner corner. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of black in the crease there. This is corrupt. And I'm just using it on the center not number 19 feather brush. I kind of like this get ready with me. Feels like I have somebody to talk to. Hi YouTube friends. My husband's out there right now. He probably thinks I'm crazy. I'm gonna add a little bit of black just underneath the eye. Right snug up to that lash line. I didn't use any eyeliner underneath the eye. I often don't use very much eyeliner underneath because I feel like you can get the same kind of depth with shadow and then obviously this smudge is a ton of, a ton less. I'm going to use a little bit of Coco Bear through to blend that black out with that Senna number 19 mini feather brush. Oh, I love this brush so much. As I've already told you guys. So I don't know what kind of lip I'm going to wear with this. I'm thinking either I don't know. Something nudey. Maybe Innocent Vixen from LA Splash. Just gonna soften that line up just a little bit because it got a little a little harsh there with a little bit of the Coco Bear shadow. It's hard to tell when you don't have foundation and all that jazz on. But I'm going to do liner. Kat Von D Trooper liner, of course. So I just start off with like little motions, kind of on the outer edge, and then just tuck that behind there. Flick it back. Then I'm going to do the inside. I kind of just use like the flat of the brush and lean that up against my actual lash bed. My eyelids are a little bit hooded, so usually I just take 
by looking at it just take that line straight across and then you'll see if I look down it's like a, a hook kind of shape and then I just kind of join that up so it, you don't really have to but just so it looks nice when I'm looking down mother flipper I forgot to put my contacts on I'm not going to be able to see anything tonight I'm not totally finished with my eyes yet but I'm just going to put some base on just so I can see what everything else looks like I just kind of wet my beauty blender just a little bit I finally bought a beauty blender like last weekend <laughs> I'd been using the crown one which is just as good I think for so long because I don't know I kind of was hesitant to spend $20 on a sponge and I think there are so many good dupes out there for it and cover those little pimps that are coming up on my forehead right now what's going on there so I'm using the Giorgio Armani foundation in luminous silk foundation in color number three Kind of just starting off in the middle of the face and then just patting it on all out. Down the neck just a wee bit. A little bit of the amazing concealer. Cover up these little little friends that I've got up here right now this concealer is probably just a little bit lighter than my skin tone because I mainly use it on my eyes so I'm gonna have to make sure I powder that area so it actually matches the rest of me Add a little bit extra, so I'm just going to pop that underneath the eyes there. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Looking a little highlighted underneath the eye area. I'm going to use my Ella Masca sculpting duo for the cheeks I'm using the flat of my brush for that or the tip of my brush not the flat I'm going to use um, MAC Cream Colour Base in Hush. Oh, look at that glow. Go. A little bit. A little bit. I like the drama in the eyes. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So good. Bottom mascara, always. I decided I'm gonna do La Splash um, Bell on the lips. So, I didn't want to go totally nude. I'm just lining with a little bit of Mac Dervish The reason why I line with some of the LA Splash Lips is because I feel like it takes me more coats to actually get the, the line of the lip 
so I usually line it so I don't have to use too much of it because when you put too much of it on that's when it cakes up and starts to get flaky which is everyone complains about so this is the color Bell Which is a good kind of lip, close to your natural lip colour but still a good colour. This would be a really good colour to have in your kit for bridal. So now that I have that on, I definitely feel like I need more blush. I'm going to use my fave, or one of my favorites, Cream Blush Brit Wit by MAC. So I'm going to use like a padding motion and I'm using a 168 MAC brush to pop that on with. blush because it gives you that super dewy look more of like a skin like texture I'm just kind of buffing those edges out with the tip of the brush as well so I don't have like a, a line is that enough blush I don't know I'm not really a blush girl but when in Rome. So far I like it. Well, this is the finished makeup look. My accessories for tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, getting ready with me. I'm super excited to go. I'm not naked. I'm wearing a dress. The dress is actually uh, borrowed from a friend. It's a vintage dress. From, I'm not sure what era, but it was actually made in Detroit, says on the tag. So, looking forward to tonight. Hope you guys have a great Saturday night. Thanks for tuning in.